well, it's time for an update, and I've been pretty busy. I went ahead and put the back of the roof on. I glued it on, uh, put on the cardboard shingles, painted them, put a coat of glue over it, and uh, I got the colors matched pretty good. <laughs> because uh, I always mix colors. I put some side trim on and I put the edge trim. So this build of the house is done. And now on the front, I went ahead and uh, put the door on, put the, the little sill on. I only put it on one window. Um, that upsets my husband. He likes things to be balanced. I'm kind of not like that. The house that gave you the instructions to make a dinky little step, I made my own. And I kind of changed the colors a little bit so it didn't match the stone completely. Went ahead and glued it on a piece of masonite. And I kind of measured um, to do the landscaping. And that's what I've been working on now. So I started making trees, not trees, excuse me, shrubs. And I thought, wait a minute, why don't I show this? This is so easy. And it's everything that you already have in your home, probably. So I kind of stopped and uh, thought I'd show you. You need some foil. The amount of foil that you use will be for how big you want your shrub to be. Uh, you can make these pretty tall because the foil is a pretty solid structure in the middle of the uh, tr shrub. And then you just kind of form it. You kind of just form it into like a little shrub and you have a little bit of a trunk on the bottom. And then we're going to glue it. And if you are sensitive and do not like the feel of glue on your hands, wear gloves because this is pretty gluey. So I'm just getting the glue on there. It's just Aileen's uh, tacky glue in your face right there. And then I spread it out and I'm going to spread it out so that it just covers the whole little piece of the aluminum foil. And then I'm going to wrap the paper towel around it and kind of bend it and twist it on the bottom for the um, stem of your tree. I mean shrub. And here's why I'm saying if you're sensitive to the glue on your hands, wear a glove because now I put the glue on and now I'm just going around and spreading that glue all over the place over the foil this is so easy I think they come out really nice for what you want it to be a little shrub and then just twisting just twisting around and forming it around the foil smoothing it out. You don't have to smooth it out a lot because you're going to cover it. You can kind of do these any size you want. So there. Could let that one dry. I let them dry overnight. I'm a real overnighter when it comes to drying because I do have other things to do. And here's the little cocoon. <laughs> Looks like a little cocoon. Um, that one's dry because I had already made that. Now I'm using, this is just the different moss, that the different mosses that you can get at the Dollar Tree. Um, and I just pull it out and just kind of pull it apart with my hands. And here we go with glue again. So we're gonna glue all on top of the little cocoon spread it out. I'm pretty generous with the glue um, because I do want this moss to stick as well as possible. And 
then we're going to press. Just press and cover and push it and mush it and pat it and just getting it as covered as you possibly can. This one I'm using is a floral moss. This is a little messy. Making these trees is a little messy. Give yourself a little spot. And there's my rolling technique. <laughs> and I'm just pushing and rolling and just pushing it on there. And there we go. Doesn't need to be perfect. Gonna let it dry. And here's one that's already dry. And I got my little manicure scissors and I just started shaping it. Cutting off all of the loose ends. You don't have to. You can leave it bushy if you want. It's okay. Now there's some empty spots where you can see the paper towel. Not a problem. We're gonna take some paint I don't usually use just one color paint. I kind of like to mix paints a little bit and just go in and just fill in the holes. It can get on the moss, it's okay. Trees are, I mean, I keep saying trees. Shrubs are different colors. Nature is beautiful. Nature is different color greens. Um, oh. Little, thing, little things sticking out. It, you know, it just really, really is okay to use whatever color greens. You'll see if you try this, it just blends in and it looks good. The other moss that I have is reindeer moss and it's a lighter green and it's easier to work with. It really is easier to work with. So once I get all of the white spots covered, I'm not done trimming. There. And like I said, you can leave it a little bushy if you want. Whatever you want. And then I'm going to cut the little end off of the, the uh, stem to make it a, just a little bit more flat and chunky for gluing purposes. And I'm gonna paint that. And I'm gonna, and I chose to paint it brown. You know, you can paint it whatever color you think your tree should look, your shrub should look like. I keep calling them trees, I'm sorry. You could make them into trees if you wanted. And when I'm done with these, I will coat them with, um, probably Mod Podge, probably a, um, a coat of Mod Podge, just to ensure, you know, to ensure that you're, you're holding on that moss is going to stay. And I made a whole bunch of these in different sizes. I don't really know how much I need, so I just did an assembly line and made a bunch of them. Now that little one is a little lighter, and that's the reindeer moss. And you can get them at Dollar Tree. I mean, you're using glue, paper towel, aluminum foil, and a couple of bucks at the Dollar Tree. Cheap little shrubs. And just to show you, when I go to landscape, I'm going to use up probably quite a few of these. And they look good and cheap and easy. You can't miss with these. You just can't. So I am on to landscaping. <laughs>